And I tried a lot of different things, but this one particular thing actually changed the growth of my channel. So what that was, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a very special video because I just crossed 50,000 subscribers. Now, this is a lot for me. I started just one year ago and now I have reached from zero to 50,000 subscribers in just one year. And first of all, I would like to thank the one above. And then I would like to thank all of the subscribers that have viewed all my videos, have been commenting, have been sending all this positive feedback. So all of you, thank you very much. And I know it's a cliche to say that it is because of you people, but it is the case in especially because of YouTube, every single one of you has contributed to my channel growth and I am very grateful from the bottom of my heart. And in fact, YouTube just sent me the 2020 stats and I was shocked to see that there were a total of 13 million minutes of view time through my channel. And I, I could not anticipate, I could not understand this figure. So what I did was I did a little bit of maths and it turns out it accounts for 300 movies a day for one complete year. And that is just massive. So thank you everyone. And in return, I would like to share my journey, how I started and hopefully it will inspire someone to start their journey, whether it be a YouTube channel, whether it be some business or whatever they are passionate about. So let's get started. So I started this channel about one year ago and the idea was not that I wanted to start uh, a YouTube channel and I wanted to get famous or grow exponentially or something like that. The idea was very simple. I used to create these uh, software not actual software, like snippets of codes that are relevant to different projects. And every now and then I used to repeat these uh, projects or repeat or teach these projects. So a lot of people used to ask me, how do I do this? How do I do that? So what I did was I archived all of my codes on GitHub and I used to share these links. But the problem was that whenever somebody's writing their code, for other people to understand, it is quite a bit of a challenging task. So I thought that, okay, you know what? I will make a video and I will send it to them so that they understand. And then it hit me, why don't I just start a YouTube channel and upload everything available to journal public? And at that time, I was a little bit confused. I wasn't sure about it because it is quite a big task to actually upload videos, make videos and do all of the editing. I had a little bit of background in that, so I wasn't sure that I was um, thinking of putting that much effort. But then I saw this video of Sendex that was the push for me. Uh, as you know, the Joker said, all you need sometimes is just a little bit of push. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> So that video was the push for me that I started my own channel and it encouraged me and the reason was that it had a lot of content, it had a lot of similarities between my situation and his situation and I, I think it resonated with me quite a bit. That's why I thought that, you know what, um, that is a very good example. Maybe I can do that as well. I will try my best. Maybe I will not get to that point, but I will do the best I can. So I went outside uh, to the store and I bought my mic and I came back and started making videos. And one important thing to note here is that I was trying to go for perfection. And soon enough, I realized that that is not a good idea. You have to uh, leave out the perfection part and you have to just start uploading videos and nothing is perfect. You have to just keep trying and keep getting better as you go along. So that was the main idea. And then I upload a lot of videos. It took me about... I think one month to get to about 100 subscribers. And most of the subscribers I am I was getting from sharing these videos on Facebook and Instagram. 
So a lot of these groups that have similar uh, interests, I shared my videos over there. And a lot of people joined, whoever liked the way I was teaching, they joined from there. And later on, uh, but still, it wasn't quite a lot. I was getting uh, two, three subscribers a day, something like that. And then for the next three months, after getting 100 subscribers, the next three months, it took me to get to that 1,000 mark. And even at that point, I was getting subscribers every day, but I wasn't exactly on the right track. I wasn't uh, on the goal that I had set for myself, which was about five to 10,000 subscribers in one year. So I started experimenting with a lot of different things and I tried a lot of different things, but this one particular thing actually changed the growth of my channel. So what that was, that I, I started to think that what exactly would be one thing, one word that would rep represent my channel. So that word that I found was OpenCV. A lot of my videos were related to robotics, AI, and these other computer vision stuff, but most of them were surrounded with OpenCV content. So I, I said that, okay, this is the word that would define my channel. Now, what I did was I went on YouTube and I wrote this particular word, OpenCV. And I was shocked to see that all these different videos that showed up were not actually videos. All these results were playlists. And each of these playlists had, for example, 20 videos, 30 videos, 50 videos on how to uh, learn OpenCV. So at that point, I... I thought that why not make one single video for let's say three hour, four hour, five hour that will give you all the basics you need to know. And I had seen similar pattern in Python with a lot of million views and I saw that in Java, C++. Each of these videos had a lot of views but there were no videos regarding OpenCV. So what I did was I went and I created this OpenCV tutorial that was three hour long. And right when this was launched, after that, I started getting more traction. And after about one month, it started jumping. It just flying away. So what happened was I was getting about 30, around 20 to 30 subscribers a day. And then it jumped to 200 subscribers a day. And that was just massive for me. And from there onwards, the subscriber count kept increasing, the views kept increasing, the comments, the shares, everything, it just kept increasing from that time onwards. And the good thing is it hasn't come down uh, up till now. It has been steady or it has grown from that point. So all you need is one video or one thing that clicks and you can blow up exponentially. So the moral of the story is that keep trying and keep experimenting with different things and one way or the other you are going to hit that mark and it will help you out, it will explode your channel or your business or whatever you are passionate about. Just keep trying and stop running before perfection. Just go ahead and put out your video, start your business, start your passion, whatever it is, just start doing it and eventually you will get better and you will find what you're looking for. So thank you very much again for watching these videos and I hope you will stick around. If you haven't liked, like this video, share it, and hopefully this has inspired you to do whatever you like, whatever you are passionate about. So this is it for today's video. I hope you have learned something new. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.